We're in the kitchen. Uh, she's got the perfect one pot roast for us this weekend. We're very excited about this. Lemon and garlic chicken. Mm -hmm. Tell us about yeah, it, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the I'm a big... classic. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a <laughs> not, classic not of a uh, chiapa. Um, <laughs> I'm a big believer in making cooking easy. That's, that's, that's what I live by because, you know, things are getting more expensive. Um, love a roast dinner, but it can be pricey. So true. So my mum's tips is always go and buy the legs or the thighs because they are cheap. And usually if you buy them on the bone with the skin, they are the cheapest um, cuts that you can get. Oh, tastiest for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. If it's the leg that's running, lots of blood going through well, it. Well, I think it's the it's bone as well. The bone, yeah. My nonna, chicken broth, chicken bones, the, the good that comes off those yeah. is really good. But a lot of people don't like it because they find it fiddly. So for me personally, bone and skin. For my kids, much easier and quicker, Just boneless size. and the skinless. They're so much cheaper than breasts, aren't they? They are. So much more they are. As well. um, so this is all in one pot. Um, I've got in here some nicely sliced potatoes. This is the hardest bit of the recipe, just getting your potatoes cut. And then I've got celeriac, and I love celeriac. People stray away from it, they're a bit scared by it. I say treat it like a potato. That's the best thing. But it's got so much more flavour than a potato. How dare you speak about potatoes like that? Well, I love a potato, versatile, but... Try a bit of celeriac. I do like it's celeriac. It's so different. Which one's the celeriac? I can't even tell the difference. Celeriac. Which one is Celeriac. It? Oh, yeah, this guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like texture of a potato, nice. but it's got a bit more of like a celery flavour, I guess. Also, the nice thing if you mm. chuck it in with the potatoes for kids and stuff, it doesn't they have. They don't the, really know. Don't know. Yeah, that strong, another is veggie. No, you can leave this out. But what the, I just peel it with a knife like that, and then I cut it into these block, blocky wedges, and then slice it like a potato. Lovely. So Little that wedges. is going to go in with. You tried your chicken yet? Maybe no, not bad. yet. I'm saving it till last. Wow. There we go. Mm. Well done. So in there, here are my potatoes, skin on, or for me, I think it, they crisp up better. Yeah. Again, all the goodness often lies under the skin. And then I've got some Kalamata olives. Um, oh, they're not those. Italian, but I like the squishiness of them. I like the colour of them. They, bit, they cook really well. And again, you can leave these out if you want, but I just think the cost of this dish, believe it or not, is about £1.60 per portion. Wow. Really, really? cheap. Great. And the expensive part, are the olives and the chicken. Right. Wow. So, you know, you could leave the olives out and already you're shaving off quite a bit of the cost. So that's in one... I love a one-pot dish because I can't bear washing up. <laughs> um, bit of olive oil on that. See, now, how much olive oil should you... Or any I mean, oil should I, you I, be putting I, on I that? drink olive oil. I mean, yeah. no joke. <laughs> but will, do... it, will it affect the, the crispiness or will it get yeah, you soggy don't... or...? Personally, I like to... You, you want it coated. You shouldn't really have oil sitting at the bottom. You basically want to coat that so that they're... But they're... they won't stick, though. No, no. Without too, you know, no, too much. No, 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 no. And don't forget, we've got the skin on the chicken, right. so that's going to also that's going to be added. Juice, uh... Now then, I'm going to put my chicken on top. Yeah. Now, what you, the main thing you want to do is make sure it's a, sort of a roughly flat layer because you want them to cook nice and evenly. Um, it's What's the, uh... great about this is you could just put it in the fridge, couldn't you, until you're ready yeah, to cook it? Totally. Mm. You don't yeah. need to cook it straight away. Yeah. And then look at that. Lo now I do like the skin. Some people don't. Yes, of course you do. It's go. all about the skin as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. yeah, the skin and it goes What I like about tray bake is you, you can put it in and go and do your own thing as well for a little while. Yeah. Mm, hello. <laughs> oh, so tasty. <laughs> We're all over my Someone's face. enjoying it. <laughs> the last thing you've got to do on that, I'm just going to give my hands a little swirl, is mm. the garlic. Now, again, I have to say, <laughs> I curse when I have to chop an onion and garlic because how long does it take... How long does it take you to peel off? Oh, ages. I mean, what I know you, you can it? crush it and... I am... All I'm going to do is... Take the top off that garlic. Yeah. Oh, I love you. <laughs> in wow. there. That's it. OK. We're going to cover that with foil. Yeah. I mean, that is a... Sim we're going to add a few more things right at the end. But, I mean... Is that it? I'm going to cover that you in put foil. put pepper on top of the I chicken. I put salt and pepper. Oh, hang on. I forgot my olive oil Any again <clears> on top of the chicken. Do you know what the seasoning on that chicken? Just that Salt, pepper. Is that it? No yeah. lemon in there yet. Not yet. So that's... I've got a few more things to add. Now, you do want to put a bit more olive oil, cos that's what's going to... You asked about how do you get your crispy chicken uh -huh. skin. Olive oil on top. Cover it with... And the reason I'm covering it with foil for the first 30 minutes... We need a bit more foil... ..is, um, speed. Is the speed of it. I want a quick meal. I don't want to be sitting around. You could leave the foil off, but that's going to go in your oven. That is so nice. 
at about 200 degrees. And then this is what it's going to look like when it comes out after half an hour. Come on, Kiapa, let's see that. Come on, get that Put out this there. in. <laughs> so, 200 degrees, my... degrees, quite a hot oven. Kelly Kiapa, Alison Hammond's stealing my skin. Mickey you got any Kiapa. more crispy Mickey skin? Mickey 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 You've got a whole see, one there! Same <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, it's like to be one of my daddy's kids now. Mum, got, you got a whole one there. <laughs> I like the fact you call me Michaela Chiappa, by the way. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know what? I'm, you know there's some people who are like, my name's Sarah, not Sarah. I'm the total opposite. <laughs> you call me, what call you me want. anything. Just wow. Well. Call me Frankfurt, <laughs> you if you like. Thank I've God. been called Chipolata, Michaela Chipolata. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm happy. Now then, this yeah, is just... around here long enough, it'll almost certainly happen, don't worry. <laughs> the garlic, OK, here we go. You're going to squish that in now. Oh, look at that! Oh. Woo! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, so squish. So look how easy that is. No faffing around. That is so good, isn't it? Squish the garlic in. Frozen green beans. Mm -hmm. Now, then, you could add other veggies. At this stage, you want a, a veg that's going to cook quite quickly. Uh, zucchini, courgette. Um, if you wanted carrots, at the st I'd put them at the start, because they're a bit like a potato. Uh -huh. So your hard veggies going at the start. So you can mix this up if kids your prefer. Your comes in. But I love a green, a bit of greenage. Oh, right. And then lemon. I mean, come on, Italians, lemon. So I put in the zest of a whole lemon. Yeah. And the juice of a whole lemon. I'm not really a lemony person, oh. you know. Can you leave it off but if can you, you wanna? Yeah, totally. But I can't can you, actually taste it's, it. To be that's fair. the thing. It's meant to just flavour. Yeah, it's I not am meant a lemony to... person. But why did you put the lemon in earlier? Is there a reason why? Because I think it kills the flavour right, in the okay. cooking. I, I want the strong flavour. So and... you want the, the lemon towards the end? Yeah, I do personally. Yeah. This so is I... just delicious. But it shouldn't be overpowering the lemon because you are cooking it. And then that goes in. I'm actually upset that it's coming to the end because I really wanted to finish That's the whole plate. Literally... And that goes in without the foil now because this is what's going to crisp up. Crisp it up, yeah. Crisp oh, it on. up and look what it looks like right at the end. Da -da -da -da. Well, you, you guys have just eaten it. It's just so easy, isn't it? But look at that. I mean, in a tray, a Can whole roast. The there, that Go on, he wants to, he wants to nab it, doesn't he? Bit. Hang on. <laughs> Love a little. I can literally eat oh, crispy chicken, especially after a night where I've had. Not much sleep. Um, thank you, Michaela. But the kids can pick around. You know, if the kids don't like an olive, they, it's it's all the flavours are in. Pick around it. Can't pick they? around it. If you want more beans, you can put more beans. But what I love about this is you're sitting down with one thing on the table. You haven't got like a gravy pot. You haven't got all these different things. Yeah. So good. That is delicious. Crispy chicken. Thank you. Michaela. Well done. Thank, thank you, you very so much, good. guys. Water. Nice to see you. We needed that today.